Hey all, so when we run our Ruby scripts and other scripts that need to be run from the command line, or if we're doing anything, you know, pinging a server, etc., and we need to open a command line, one of the things we do, obviously, is we open a command window. And we usually do that by putting CMD in there and getting a command window open. Now, the first thing you start to do is maybe you clear the screen, you will, let's see, we'll, we'll uh, let's go oops, to the root, we'll navigate to the correct folder, and maybe we'll change the title, because we've got several windows open, and we want to you know, have this uh, have this named in a certain way, and we can see Ruby practice here, so then, you know, we clear the screen again, and bingo, we're there. Now I've made some changes to this window um, by right-clicking on the title bar here and selecting properties. So going in here and deciding that you know I want certain uh, uh, colors for the screen background I like the text to be white and here's, uh, here's a, a view of what it looks like. So uh, you can customize the window via this way and it will retain those settings. Um, the window size for example is a good one to modify and I think by default the background is white and the text black, which I found a bit I found a bit glary. But again, it's good to uh, maybe if you have multiple windows open, you can um, you know have one that's a blue black ground, a red black background, etc. So you know uh, which you're working across. But there's an easier way to get to this point, and that's by using a little VB script. And there we are. Saves a lot of messing about, and it's a pretty straightforward thing to do. And let's have a look at that. So what we want to do is just go through some key VB script commands. And uh, let me just put this to line numbers, and we'll tell Sky2 the language is VB script. I think we can zoom in on Sky2. That's good. Okay, so. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set a command to equal create object, which is something you'll be familiar with. Uh, w script. So we'll do, use a double script uh, shell. Again, something you'll be familiar with. So that's the first line that we need to put in. And then we start to see a repeating pattern. So we've got a command dot run and we run command of course because that's what we put on the command line when we went to the search bar now what I'm going to do I'll put a sleep command of you know, about 200 milliseconds I noticed that when I didn't put these sleep commands and I had sorry yep I didn't put sleep in and I had various commands going on very quickly I can't, I'm, and I'm not sure why this was. Various random things would open on the screen. So, uh, sorry, on the uh, on the desktop. So, command run. That's what we typed in. CMD run, right? Um, and if we have another command called send keys, something again you VB scripters will be familiar with. And what did we do when we got that open? We said CD, and then we hit the enter key. Enter key. So that's what we did, wasn't it? We went change directory, go to the root, and hit enter. Right, and we'll do the same thing here. Um, what else did we do? Then we changed the directory. So let's just copy this for brevity. Then we we went. What did we do? CD. It was dev. So we get this right. This is where I this is where I forget what I'm doing. Uh, Ruby. And of course, we hit, en hit enter. Then uh, change the title. That's right. So we we said title. Uh, what do we call it? Well, let's call it new title for now. Right. And of course, we hit enter again. Little pause in terms of putting sleep. 
Let's, let me just capitalize this because I'm not sure if you have to but just to make sure this works and then we cleared the screen didn't we so we just did a CLS and of course we entered and that's it so all of these things that you have to type in hit enter type in hit enter I mean I said I did a change directory twice but obviously you can do it that way too um, you can just put into a script like this so if we go uh, let's just save it to the desktop do, 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 do. where's the desktop um, what should we call it uh, cmd test dot vb script file here it is let's see what happens and there we go so that's everything we saw everything work there that's it nice quick way to use some of the simple VB script commands to you know, do a little bit of automation on our Windows desktop and get our uh, in this case the Ruby script open so that we can then start playing with our Ruby files or you know you could be pinging a server you could be doing whatever and just getting yourself into a position where oops, where you're ready to go already that's it hope that made sense I'll do the usual put a, a blog post up and include this code so you can download it and use it thanks a lot